you want to create your reality, I'm going to talk today a little bit about how to do that. And it may be a bit easier than you think. It has to do with Vesca Pisces and your Holy Trinity. This is nothing new. Um, masters have spoken about it, Yeshua. But this may be a little bit of a different way to explain it. And I hope you find it helpful. So first, I'd like to clear and protect our fields. Um, so I'm just going to do that. Clear and protect anything that is below price consciousness, below the 12th vibrational um, within this matrix that's not serving. We're going to release that so that we can fully connect to our higher self, Holy Spirit, and also to source. So for myself, this actually goes back about 10 years um, when Mother Mary, a statue of Mother Mary by where I used to live, um, was relaying information to me about the Holy Trinity and how we are part of the Holy Trinity. And then it goes into Egypt when I traveled to Egypt several times and how Christ consciousness really came in through the heart. And that all ties in to Vesica Pisces and the latest downloads I'm getting on Vesica Pisces and how that actually ties into the Holy Trinity. So for a quick explanation on that, Vesica Pisces is two circles overlapping in the middle. You, dear one, are in the middle of that. You're part of that. Your Holy Spirit, your higher self is one circle and source is another circle. If we look at it that way in a linear way, um, the seed of life initially, right, source, and then going out and um, we're all connected to it. So our personal Vesica Pisces or Holy Trinity is that. And if we're tapped into it, connected, then we can bring all that is in. And of course, we're creator beings and we can create um, our reality within and our reality without. Now, because things have been manipulated in this matrix, we are shut off from that in some ways on the lower vibrational fields, right? As well as just um, the daily things that come in from your upbringing on that I've talked about before and you're probably familiar with. So back to this Holy Trinity and Vesica Pisces, what has happened to most, of course, is that the Vesica Pisces, you could say, split and we're disconnected from our higher self or we're disconnected from source. Now, again, that's a linear way to look at it or the Holy Trinity, but I think it really um, helps and that is part of sacred geometry as well, right? So... What we want to do is we want to bring our Holy Spirit and source, because we are that, um, front and center, connected, and then there we are in the middle. So that's what we're going to do today. I'm going to walk you through a really quick way to do that um, after you just clear um, the field like I just did, and then you can do this um, on a daily basis. So go ahead and just take a deep breath into your lower belly and release it. And then take another one and go ahead and shut your eyes. Mm. And then we're just going to bring in the Holy Spirit or higher self. You can use whatever terminology you're comfortable with. It's one and the same, really. And then we're going to breathe out source. And by source, that's love, that's all that is, creation. And you can also look at it as heaven on earth is actually really within you. If heaven resonates for you, right? So the heaven within you, you're breathing it out, you're breathing it in, you're breathing in the Holy Spirit, you're breathing out source. So just go ahead and settle into your beautiful heart space. And breathe in the Holy Spirit, your higher self, to every cell of your being, your etheric field. Breathe out source, joy, love, all that is. And breathe in 
Holy Spirit, higher self, breathe out, source. And breathe in, Holy Spirit, higher self, and breathe out, source. And you can just keep doing that at your own pace, breathing in, higher self, Holy Spirit, to beautiful heart space, breathing out, source. And as you breathe in, the Holy Spirit, higher self, can also transmute the cells in your being to source, and then you breathe out source, creating your reality. Breathe in your higher self. Breathe out source, creating your reality. You're one with, of the same, we all are. It's just tapping into our divinity, tapping into who we truly are. That a few more times. time and breathe out. I'd suggest you do this every day and when you feel comfortable with it then you can start bringing in the creation that you desire, beautifying your surroundings, yourself, a powerful, beautiful divine being of light. Thank you so much. For joining if you have any questions please uh, message me below and um, yeah thank you namaste